Hi, my name is Yinka Ilori and I'm here at the Crowns Council. I'm an artist designer based in Northwest London. And today we are going to be telling stories through pattern. Storytelling has always been a huge part of my practice. Um, I think that came from my upbringing, um, growing up in North London and, you know, being born to Nigerian parents, you know, fabrics and textiles was, was, you know, has always been a huge part of my life um, because it was a way of kind of bringing people together, communities together, um, cultures, but also it gave myself and my family and people around us a sense of belonging, um, feeling part of something. Um, and especially within the Nigerian community, um, patterns and textiles, you know, tell stories and of where we're from and how we're feeling. Um, and that's why I've been quite obsessed with patterns um, for such a long time, especially in my work. Um, I recently designed a homeware collection and one of the patterns there were called Omi, Omi, which means water, water. Um, and that was a pattern that was inspired by um, the city of London, um, the River Thames and sort of, you know, like, but also the kind of the, the cultural exchange of, you know, like fruit and veg coming in, um, in the Royal Docks and all the elephants and animals that came in the Royal Docks. So just trying to sort of tell that story of, of that kind of cultural exchange. Um, also sort of celebrating how kind of multicultural, um, you know, London is. And I wanted to sort of tell that story through pattern. So in that pattern, I had a mixture of kind of like these kind of squiggly kind of like wave um, patterns mixed with these kind of rum barrels in between. So when you look deep into the pattern, you will see these kind of small symbols and objects. But I want to sort of highlight that, you know, in my pattern. And I think that's why I love, you know, telling stories because I can sort of hide messages in these patterns which is quite nice and small symbols. Um, but I'm not, sure I'm, I'm not sure what I'm gonna, what pattern or what story I'm gonna tell you today. Um, but maybe the pattern I might wanna create today will be centered around joy um, and how I'm feeling today. And I don't know what that looks like. And I think that can look like anything because I think joy is, is how it makes you feel. And that looks different to, to everyone else. Color for me, especially my work has always been something that's been very important to me. Because when I look at colour, I sort of remember moments, you know, around my being around my family and friends. But also, I remember sort of like celebratory times and moments that were joyful with my family. So I try to sometimes, you know, remember those moments through colour. When I look at colours, I remember what my mum wore, or what, you know, when I was laughing, or what time I was laughing, or who I, who, I, who I was around when I was laughing. And I think because the fabrics that we wear, you know, are so vibrant and so rich. Um, they, they really stick with me. Um, so colour, yeah, it's just always been a huge part of my, you know, it's a huge part of my you know, my practice, but also, you know, it's embedded in my, you know, in, in my DNA. And I think subconsciously, I didn't know I was, you know, colour did that to me, but it's only as I got older and older and older, I watched like, you know, old, you know, like birthday parties where it was my birthday party, my parents' birthday parties and remembered, oh, you know, I want that. And I, I felt like, I felt like that. But it's also really powerful to know that colour can make people feel a certain way as well. Colour can do that, but also joy is quite a contagious thing as well. You know, you can you can catch joy. So my pattern here is um, it's centered around joy. Um, also looking at like Nigerian sort of textiles, and there's a fabric called Ashoke, which is um, this handwoven fabric um, in uh, Nigeria. In particular, I think it's from Ondo State, where my mum grew up. Um, and that's used for like weddings and coronations and that kind of thing. So I'm trying to sort of create this kind of patchwork, this kind of weave that is like referencing, you know, that sort of like technique of, of weave um, in the, on the Ashoke um, in Nigeria, which you can kind of see here. Um, and I think for me, like that fabric in particular and that weaving process and remembering how my mom used to wear it and my dad, um, just reminds me of kind of joyful um, and happy moments. Another example of, of you know of ways of using different materials and sort of creating kind of endless possibilities is this bottle by Simon um, Hassan, which is a water bottle uh, made from leather, which, is in, which I think is to me is a, is a piece of art. It's, it's a sculpture, but it's also functional. Um, and I think what's this saying here is that I think with every materials that you use, there are endless possibilities of ways you can make or 
where's your magnetic object? I think that's the beauty of kind of, of craft. 